Dean, defeat in the FA Trophy, uh, what did you make of it? Entertaining game. Obviously, we've got COVID, like Boreham would have, like every team has in the division, in the country. So, we come in here really patchy. It's been a patchy week, frustrating week. But I think the main thing for me is everyone just stays healthy, really, because it looks like probably the country's going to go into another lockdown. You know? I'm not a politician, but... It looks like we're going that way. So, um, what did I make of the game? Uh, we gave up too many uh, chances in the first half in the sense of, you know, we got us up and had a great start to the fixture. Great start to the game. We scored and we're on top. And then we just got too deep from the free kick and it's allowed Marsh to get the other side of his deflected goal. Um, we showed character in different phases of the game. But we just conceded too many sloppy goals. We went toe to toe with the with the top side in Boreham Wood. I mean, how how much confidence does that give you? Now, to be totally honest, I can't see both of them start, uh, team starting in the league. I spoke to Luke there, funny enough. I can't see him starting that team in the league and me starting that team in the league if everyone was available. I have to be honest. Um, wasn't happy at half time. Our players, you know, dropping too deep, not congesting the game against a team that are very physical. They play together in zones and areas where they can get throw ins and corners. And they're a big, strong, experienced team. And I said to our players, we got to manage referees better. Well, they're managing the referee. Richie Brundle sending off. I've watched both sending off. Yeah. I don't really want to speak with a referee because I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm sour grapes or something, but I'm not. I've just literally watched them there in the video and they are criminal decisions. They've never, ever, ever, ever been red cards, ever. We appealed, uh, who for me is targeted, Efron Mason Clark is targeted in this division. Um, Consistently fell. We appealed his red card last week. It's come back and uh, where you over for a supposed headbutt. You know, so look, we're having a bit of bad luck. We can either feel sorry for ourselves or we can, you know, get on with it. And we've got to get on with it. So it's difficult. It's difficult for me to talk right now because I'm quite emotional after the game, after the defeat. But gradually, like Boreham Wood. And um, yeah, we'll just keep we'll dust ourselves down and keep going. Let's see what's, what, what the week has ahead of us. I mean, we did show uh, great spirit throughout the second half, even uh, whilst we were 10 men down. Uh, down to 10 men, sorry. Yeah, when we, when we had the initial force, then it was the 56 minute. For the next 15, 60 minutes, we did really well. Hardly the great chance. They no real chances were in that period. Obviously, the lad, Maris, has got a fantastic goal. He's got a hat trick today. Um, and he's got a fantastic goal, to be fair, the winner. Um, yeah, we've got character, we've got togetherness. We know that. It's hard for me to sort of comment today on the, on the game because we're just so depleted coming into the game and it's, it's obviously the same for Boreham Wood as well. So um, I'm just disappointed with how we played first half. I can't lie to you, I'm frustrated and I was angry about the half-time. It was rubbish. I mean, you touched on it there, but Rob Hall, uh, he obviously uh, scored one and, and, and set one up. Uh, what, what's it been like to work with recently? He's a top player, Harley. Uh, it's just about keeping him fit now. You know, shouldn't really be at this level. We know why he's at this level because of his injury record. Um, but we look today, if I'm being totally honest with you, you had Rob Hall, you had Sam Beard, you had Harry Taylor and Mitch Brundle who played to their level. Um, obviously, Marriott was a bit rusty come back. I didn't think anybody else played to their level, I have to be totally honest with you, apart from them four players. You can't win football matches with four players turning up. And uh, we, we haven't got the luxury of rotating and changing and stuff like that. And, I'm not into criticising players on camera, but I've got to be honest about the team. You ask me a question, I think um, I mean, four players have turned up today, really, to be totally honest. And then obviously in the end, refereeing decisions, their experience, manager, referee, even at half time, they're managing the referee in the tunnel area, which I'm then debating with the referee, which turns sort of argumentative because they're managing the referee, their whole team. And uh, even the incident with Mitch, you'll see it back, we'll see it on the highlights. Obviously, it won't be able to release on Monday or so. Or if you watch the BT Sport, you can watch it tonight. You'll see it back. You know, Mendy, who's an ex-player of mine, doesn't even appeal. And the foul's on him. But Foyfield, Stevens, them lads there, and I mentioned their names, they're managing the referee. Weak refereeing. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, two youth lads named, named on the bench today is a great experience for me. And it's brilliant that we can uh, keep bringing through the next generation of players. Yeah, look, obviously they're on there by default. I don't mean that disrespectfully. Um, and look, we want to grow. We have so much work to do with this football club. At our football club, we've got so much work to do. Um, before I got here, there was a dark cloud over it. We're starting to move it. Our supporters are involved in us. Uh, starting to move it as well. Starting to get great positivity, inclusiveness, which is so important. We've got a big, big foundation to lay, and it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, and we're doing that now at this moment in time. So hopefully we can grow our academy. 
it's essential for us. It's a Barnet, as I've known, I've managed the last 10 years, have always had a fantastic academy, uh, produced plenty of players, and we've got great catchment there for that. So we've got, we've got to start doing that. So, yeah, it is positive, yeah. We've also got uh, Bournemouth obviously twice in the, in the next uh, next couple of weeks. Uh, how do we prefer, prepare for that going forwards now? I'll be totally honest with you, Howard. I haven't got a clue. You're asking me to predict the future. I can't predict the future. Will we play? Won't we play? Look at Bournemouth today, they're two subs. Realistically, we've had two subs. We've had to recall a goalkeeper from Lone Beckinsfield. People are testing positive left, right and centre. The Covid. I don't think we'll go ahead. I'll be totally honest with you. It's my personal opinion. Whether that happens, we'll prepare like we have to. It's a, it's a crazy time. It's a crazy world we're living in at the minute. So we just hope everybody stays safe, and hopefully everyone can enjoy that Christmas with their family. Um, but we'll we'll be as professional. We'll be we'll always be professional, and we'll dust ourselves down. And if we're in Monday, we're in Monday. We'll do a debrief, and uh, we'll move on to the to the next game. We'll see we'll see what the uh, what the people that be say. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. Hot one.